Bo Nix. Yeah, Bo Nix, Rookie baby. quarterback out of Oregon has now been named the week one starter by Broncos head coach Sean Payton. Uh, he's, got, he's got a lot on his shoulders. He's got to prove he is a week or a round one uh, pick or worth a round one pick. But mm-hmm. uh, Sean Payton seems to think so, thinks he's ready. And uh, just, I don't know if you know this, but do you know who the last – uh, who the last rookie quarterback to start for the Denver Broncos week one was last rookie. Yes. The last time a rookie quarterback started week one for the Denver Broncos. Oh, I'm thinking of one guy that I can't think. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but I kept, I don't even know if he'd be right though. Oh, shoot. I, I want to try to, I don't want to look up his name. Cause I don't remember what he, what his name was, but I just remember like, like saying he looked like Peyton Manning, but I don't remember. I don't think that was who it was. How long ago was it? Was it recent or was it like before, like, was it, it was, after it Peyton was, Manning or before Peyton Manning? It was so like, before, before Peyton Manning. Uh, then I got no clue. I thought I was thinking somebody else. So John Elway. Oh, wow. <laughs> the last uh, time a rookie quarterback started week one for the Denver Broncos was Hall of Famer John Elway. So it's been a while since the Broncos have done this. And uh, Bo Nix is hoping that he will continue uh, John Elway's legacy. Uh, He's in good company. Um, We'll see what happens. So initially, basically who I was thinking of was um, was Trevor Simeon. But he wasn't. Uh, But he was around, appears around seven pick. And I don't think he started week one. I don't know if he did or not but that's who i was thinking i was thinking it was trevor simeon actually no he wouldn't have he didn't start because 2015 he was drafted peyton, yeah, that was peyton manning's year so trevor simeon was only a was a year one so that's who i was thinking of was trevor simeon but i couldn't think of him but i just remember always like the way that his helmet fit on his head and the way that he looked from certain angles made him kind of look like peyton manning and as a 14 year old kid <laughs> me and my friends used to clown on the idea that Denver thought that they were getting a second Peyton Manning, but uh, Trevor Simeon never really panned out to be the next Peyton Manning, as we know today. No, Peyton Trevor S- Trevor Simeon has had a uh, rough career at best. Uh, he was yeah. the uh, Bengals' um, potential starting or backup quarterback. Mm. Well, starter. Then, that's 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 a bold yeah, pick. No, well, Cincy. well, if he would have beat out Jake Browning last season, he would have been the uh oh. starter but in so, a way aren't you kind of glad that didn't happen because jake browning i feel like is a lot better of a backup than uh Simeon oh yeah would have been. yeah well i have i have uh jake browning's autograph in my collection and i don't have trevor simeon's so that's mm-hmm. all i'll say about that for uh those youngins out there who uh for whatever reason may not know who uh trevor simeon is i'm loading up a photo of him here for you this is uh, who Chuss thinks looks like Peyton Manning. Okay, well, not like I'm not <laughs> saying that picture exactly, but there's like pictures where like he he has his helmet on, and the way that his forehead looks, and the way that his face is in his helmet, made him kind of look like Peyton Manning. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you don't gotta throw a comparison up there, but a lot of people. I remember social media was kind of buzzing about that. It wasn't like this huge headline or anything like that, but I just remember people were talking about it. My friends were talking about it. I was a freshman, I believe, going into the 2016 season. Yeah, fall 2016, I would have been a freshman so in high school. But, um, yeah, I just remember all of us talking about it. So, Well, I I am interested to see how Bo Nix does. I, I haven't watched him enough to uh, come up with a guess yet. They play the Seattle Seahawks week one. So uh, should be not, not, a, not an easy team, not a hard team. I feel like they're pretty middle of the road. Good place to start. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so, uh, Bo Nix is the Broncos week one starter. 